Hi friends, uh, today we are going to learn two tricks to remove vocal from a mixed audio track. A mixed audio track means uh, any mp3 file or wave file of uh, any song uh, and uh, I'm going to teach you uh, two tricks. First trick uh, will involve an old trick basically to swap stereo channel and inverted face. So, uh, this is important because uh, this trick is old trick and can be used in any other uh, audio editor for that matter. You do not need to use Audacity for that. But uh, Audacity is a freeware as you know that and anybody can download and use. So, I am going to use Audacity for this. So, in this, uh, I have opened a track yeah, and which is a mixed track you can see. Uh, let me play it. As you can hear that it is a stereo track and uh, a lot of things are panned. It is important because to do this, you need to have a stereo track. Mono track will not work. So let me go to the part where the vocal is. Uh, for example, in this area. So, this is a track uh, which I mixed some time back, and uh, there is my vocal um, in this track where I am singing. So you can easily eliminate that vocal inside and you can apply this trick to any audio file. So to do this, first of all, you need to select the track and duplicate it by clicking the edit and duplicate. So we are not going to do anything on the first one. We are going to make two changes to the second track. First change we are going to swap these stereo channels that means right becomes left and left, bec left becomes right in the stereo so swap now the second change we are going to make is uh, inverting the face of the second file uh, so let's let's hear before inverting the face right now the volume will be a little higher because it is now the two tracks will play together. Okay, uh, so on the second track, selecting the second track, we will go to the effect and select from the effect, we'll select invert this one. And so I have inverted the face. So inverting the face uh, basically will do the trick for it. Muting the second track. Unmute. So, uh, this is the way you uh, eliminate the uh, vocal easily and of course uh, you can notice that some little bit of uh, loss of frequency in other instrument also. Uh, but that is a cost you pay uh, when you remove vocal from a mixed track. The only cleaner way that you should have a minus track from uh, the uh, recording studio itself where they mute the vocal track and give you the track. But if that is not the situation, this is uh, a trick with a little bit of cost. You can use, utilize that. Okay, now let me go to the second trick, which is, I think, easier and uh, only uh, exclusive to Audacity. Here is a plugin. You do not need second track. Let me delete that track. 
So uh, in the vocal part, I'm just we can just have a preview and select the effect here. There is a plugin called Vocal Remover. So you can use that Vocal Remover and uh, remove vocal. Uh, so the first preset is good enough to remove the vocal. Uh, let's listen to the preview. Actually, it is as good as the first trick and uh, my guess is that it is also applying the same trick inherently in the back end, which you cannot see. But the plus side is with this, uh, you can have a little bit of tweaking, remove frequency band and retain frequency band. So you can experiment with these settings also and uh, see you can achieve what you want to achieve thank you very much